In this video, we'll talk about making plans for a better future. One of the reasons people find it difficult to move on from the past and start over is that they have no plans for the future. They've put all their eggs in one basket and cannot imagine starting all over again. However, as earlier mentioned, life is a journey that presents you with another opportunity to rewrite your story. In this chapter, we will explore tips that can help you make concrete plans for the future and start building your life again. Build positive self-image. No one can respect and love you more than you respect and love yourself. Meanwhile, when you don't see yourself as a person who deserves to be treated with value by others, you will subject yourself to ridicule and other unpleasant situations. It can make you stay in an abusive relationship and work a job that does not allow you to reach your potential. You will live your life pleasing others and meeting their demands. Indeed, there's nothing wrong with pleasing people and meeting their needs. However, you must be able to make demands without feeling that you're asking for too much. For example, you should be able to tell your partner when you're not happy about the way he or she is treating you. Sometimes you'll never object even when you're not happy because you're afraid that that person might walk away from the relationship. If that's the case, you are in a relationship that will only strain you and make you regret your actions eventually. Don't let anyone make you feel like a second-class human being. It all begins by seeing yourself in a positive light. When you think about yourself, what do you see? Do you see a failure who should be at the mercy of others or a legend in the making? You need to build a positive image to recover from your past and start over. Build self-esteem. You need high self-esteem to have the confidence that is needed to forge ahead after a setback. Note that that is not automatic. There are some deliberate steps you need to take to build your self-esteem, especially after it has been shattered by a traumatic incident. The following tips will help you in that regard. Rate yourself. After a setback, it is natural that you start seeing yourself as a failure. However, you need to turn the table around as fast as possible. One of the ways you can rate yourself again is to remind yourself of the previous success you achieved in the past. Remember that no one is perfect. You made a mistake. So what? You're not the first person to make a mistake in the world, and you won't be the last. In fact, you will still make mistakes. You need to accept your imperfections as a human being and work on them. We all make mistakes. So motivate yourself and start all over again. Keep the ball moving. You cannot afford to be static in life. The best way to build your self-esteem is to get to work immediately after a setback. Of course, there's a place for thinking things through and analyzing why you failed the first time. However, don't dally too much. Once you realize your mistake, correct them and get to work again. Focus on what is changeable. Your self-esteem will remain battered when you keep thinking about things you cannot change. Focus on those areas you can improve and correct. When you keep complaining about things that are beyond you, you will be frustrated. Besides, you will not be confident in your ability to succeed because you feel too many factors are against you. Get involved in activities that make you happy. It is vital that you generate positive emotions, especially after experiencing an emotional setback. If you like sports, do more of that around that period. Set goals. Setting goals give your life a direction and a sense of purpose. You can't have a better future when you don't have goals you are working to achieve. When you have goals, you have drive. You are motivated to succeed, and that helps you take your mind off your past. Ensure that your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Any target that does not have those qualities is not realistic and bound to fail. Have long-term and short-term targets in every area of your life. Note that you should not set goals because you want to get back at others. Rather, set targets because you want to fulfill your potential. Practice journaling. According to Dr. John Grohal, CEO of Psych Central, mental disorders such as depression and anxieties can be treated with medication, counseling, and journaling. Journaling is becoming more popular in recent times because more people are beginning to realize its numerous benefits. Note that your journal should not contain stories of how people hurt you and disappointed you. Rather, you should leverage it to make plans and improve your performance. The following tips will help you to get the best out of your plan to keep a journal. Focus on where you are in your life right now and your future plans. Stay consistent with it by having a specific part of the day or day of the week you update the journal. Don't censor your thoughts for the first five minutes of writing to ensure you pour out how you are feeling at that moment. Be accountable to someone that can ensure that you are consistent with updating your journal. Practice meditation. Meditation is a practice that helps people to focus on the moment to live a happier and meaningful life. There are many forms of it. However, they all help to achieve calmness and focus. You need this practice to forgive yourself and be grateful for everything you have in your life. 
Many celebrities are taking advantage of meditation to boost their performance and improve their mental health. The following tips can help you to start and stay consistent with your meditation practice. Choose a type of meditation you can practice consistently. You may need to try different ones to know the best for you. Hire a guide or join a local class if you are struggling to practice effectively alone. Look for a place you can practice that is free from distractions. Start gradually with 5 minutes of practice and increase it as you get better. Celebrate every progress. The pressure and demands of life can make you forget how to be happy. However, you should learn to enjoy every bit of your life by celebrating the seemingly little success you have. This culture is particularly important when you are recovering from a major setback and trying to put your life together again. One of the things journaling and meditation should teach you is the practice of gratitude. A particular form of meditation called loving-kindness meditation is very crucial in this regard. This form of practice emphasizes thinking about the people in your life and how important they are to you. It also involves forgiving yourself and others. Treat every progress in your new journey of starting over as essential. Treat yourself well for every week or month you keep your mind on the present instead of the past. The positive energy from this tradition will boost your morale and self-esteem in the long run. You deserve to be celebrated. Do it yourself if no one else is doing it yet. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.